What's up guys and welcome back. This is my boy again Adam Slink. How you doing today? Welcome to another video. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are watching this video from. I wanted to have a discussion concerning this IVD and uh, B-Bomb case. And uh, firstly, this one is coming from uh, P-Square Peter Okoye. He said, don't stay in any marriage that will lead to your death. Getting married is different from living married. If it's not working, walk away period well of course you know the high profile domestic violence case currently in nigeria that has to do with a very popular businessman ivd and his longtime girlfriend plus wife being born may also continue to rise in paradise they have a uh, beautiful five kids together not two because initially it was reported that they have those two kids no they have five children together well now there have been updates coming from uh, I, uh Bean Bombs, late B Bombs brother, and the IVD is according to late B Bombs brother, IVD has gone into hiding. You no, know, they are trying as much as possible to locate him, but nobody knows exactly where he is currently. And also IVD, I don't know, maybe he's feeling the pressure and is maybe I don't know what he's feeling, maybe God has finally got to him. He's having some kind of a remorse towards his wife. He actually changed his profile picture, putting his wife and his kids picture on his Instagram account. Well, I think police should investigate the old domestic violence issue because there are videos, disturbing videos coming out. And the ritualism, uh, ritualism cases coming out. It's just that the only the honest truth is that being born is not alive to speak our own truth. You know, people uh his brother talking on behalf of being born and uh, people just saying all things because this is a really delicate issue, domestic violence. And guess who decided to plug herself into this whole issue? None other than Blessed CEO. You know, so many girls. Uh, relationship mentor blessed CEO is the person who decided to just come into this old issue I'm gonna play to you what blessed CEO said recently concerning the death of B bomb according to what she said B bomb wanted to die can you imagine so when they see that that person they are staying with want to leave them mm. being born I'm sorry to say this it might come off as um I'm being inhuman or being insensitive, but this is the fact. Bimbo have always wanted to die. Hey! From the beginning of the story, yes, she has always wanted to. But the fact is that maybe she wants to take the man along with her. Hmm. Yes, there's a point of a, a, of your life whereby you feel that I cannot go alone. She has always went because she has always been violent. She has always been fighting. She had every reason to leave. Have you noticed something that it freeze, right? Mm. It's so easy for us to blame domestic violence on women. But I took my time and went back to the previous, you know, videos. It's always been bored that is going live. It's always been bored that is fighting. Mm. It's always been bored that is breaking. It's always been bored that is complaining. And from everything that has transpired between them, the ones that we've seen and the ones that we've heard, you will see that the man was not necessarily tying this woman up. Forget all this noise. You know, when somebody dies, people, are just, people just want to look for someone to blame. When I saw the video of her elder sister crying, if not because somebody had died, I was like, what is all this drama for? Why are you dramatizing? That's the honest truth. Your sister wanted to stay. And in the relationship, if you watch those videos and clips that have gone, the woman was in control. She was always the one fighting the man. She was always the one... She was always the one breaking. She was always the one. That's the honest truth. Blessed CEO might be saying her mind of, and mind of other people. But, you know, in this life, uh, women will always be women's issue. And women are liking it. It's good that women are against each other. You know, it's good for us. But the honest truth, again, is uh, she might be saying her truth or concerning the videos and the clips that have been coming out. You know, men do not necessarily have the time to carry phone and record. Women naturally do that a lot to carry phone and record situations that are that's happening. So that is why you might not see the man complaining a lot. Well, nobody knows exactly what happened in that relationship except being bomb and IVD. 
and Bay Bomb is not alive now to say our truth. So people are just talking on behalf of Bay Bomb, and we don't really, really know the truth. The brother said a lot. The brother said a lot. And when his brother was asked, do you think the ritual, the ritual list uh, allegation that Bay Bomb was assisting IVD to do ritualism? The brother said yes, that he believe that is uh, that uh, that his sister can do anything for IVD. Well, I'm still gonna play you so much video, but B-Boss brother wasn't really that happy concerning what uh, Blessed CEO was saying about uh, 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 the, the B-Boss herself who died. And uh, he, he just decided to throw some major, some major ch shade at uh, Blessing because the first question he asked was that, do you even know be born personally that you think you can just go online to talk uh, just to give your own opinion that was the first question and honestly like i said nobody know those people personally except for their relations and some close friends according to the guy he said this is my last this is my last and final post and it is directed straight to the blessing ceo whatever you are irrelevant your irrelevant name is for her to open her mouth straight from hell to say my sister that she doesn't know from anywhere was always fighting and wanted to die it can't be well with her and i pray for a for an ivd for her <laughs> and the blessing said mr man you better focus on your pain and let your and let us grieve with you. I know you are badly looking for validation and who to blame. I understand that part. I understand that part. That is why I will let it slide. The truth remains that you are clowned. And if you have any respect for your sister, you will put your put yourself together, gather our keys and take them for therapy so they don't be become same monster like their father as you claim well so many back and forth but the honest truth is that blessing don't know be born personally you are just talking from afar everyone all the blows coming out are just talking from afar just trying to scrutinize whatever was happening because of the mere little little information that that i had in public and the whole issue see drop down as the whole conclusion is that if marriage is not working, simply walk away. That is the whole conclusion. But I will play you the video, the interview from Daddy Freezy and this guy's brother. Then you will check. It was not only about domestic violence. That the woman, Bimbo, was ready to walk away. She has already walked away from the relationship, from the marriage. But she wanted something because she, is, she doesn't want to leave that marriage empty-handed. She, she invested her 22 years, her, 20, her, her, her life into that marriage so she cannot just live like that empty-handed so that was exactly what led to this so guys uh enjoy the rest of the video and please leave your opinion and uh your conclusion in the comment section below bye things were not so rosy for him and he was very frustrated because so it was time to pay this kid's school fees here yeah? and oh. he was saying there was no there was no money but they go club every night. And mm. allegedly, you were sleeping at some chick's place on Instagram. I don't want to start name calling because I'm not, I wasn't there and I'm not sure. Yeah. So I don't want to put anybody in trouble. But there was a certain girl's place on Instagram that he was crashing. Mm. So we family now that's my brother and sister in abuja I was like oh yeah come to abuja now we'll sort it out even if it's change the children's school we'll sort it out but she got on telling me that omo this guy has cheated her for like 30 something years school she no go nothing she go she's leaving this marriage with zero cobble that the guy should settle her at least something for her to leave because she literally said and i quote i made him what he is today i begged people not to lock him up i stood there for him whether was, even his mother was not there for him this same guy we are talking about here his brother does not talk to him 
he has no connection with his own family member. Because I was on a call, we were on a call with his brother yesterday, earlier, where we were looking for him. And his brother was like, Omo, I know no way in the, I have not spoken to him in years, and I can help people to find him. This is supposed to be a good person. So, fast forward to the events of the whole tragic incident. He came. Uh -huh. My sister was already getting ready to move out now. She was moving out. Then, the struggle started with the papers for the house that they live in. Seems like that's the only property they had left. Uh -huh. So, she, she wanted to play a fast one and quickly open the safe with um with a welder and get the papers and move to secure she has five children she obviously has to feed them some way him i don't know who gave him the information or how he got the information him getting the information now drove from wherever he was and he drove straight inside to the estate this is somebody that like a week before, I have a video. He kicked them out. He kicked. I have a video. He kicked his wife out. He kicked the five children out. He said, he said, and I quote, um, your mother is training you people to be like her. And you people cannot be my kids. That's what he said. And he has, we have another video of him, of his kid, his only son, telling him to stop hitting my mother. And he beats the boy mercilessly. This was if this was like days before this main event happened. So he drove home now. When he drove home, he saw that she has opened the safe now with the welder and she locked the door. Yeah, going down. Uh -huh. He was trying to get his papers back now and he was being violent and he was banging the door and she locked the door. Somehow, somehow he grabbed her and he dragged the paper away from her. Uh -huh. And she had no papers now. And now she wasn't going to live without anything. So she now said, Doc, since this is the only house we have left, mm. let's cook my bonnet down so the two of us live with nothing. Oh, so that's what led to the fracas. So guys, if you're just joining us live, Bimbo's... And she was lighting up the whole house. Then... According to them, kerosene. She threatened, she poured kerosene on her body and was like, Toh, may everything go to my end. Now, saying this, this was somebody that was madly in love with her husband. And this is not the first time her husband was threatening to kill himself if she does not come back. I have a video of that one too. So I think she, she probably expected that him go say no do am or do am then when she did it she now stopped for a while and she walked around the house him he was not saying anything he was like if you won't die die that's what he said then i think she light up the curtain according to the girl that was there the girl said he as she light up the curtain and was born in they were now dragging she Sorry, I lost you there. She now lit up the curtain. Yeah, and the curtain was burning. He showed it in his video too. And him, she now jacked him like, Omo, you go give me this paper today. Then him pushing her off his body got her into the curtain. Now, Daddy Freeze, now, um, you're a very, you're a very smart person. A very smart person because I've been on your life so much and I've seen how you analyze things. So I want you to follow me and analyze the situation. Yeah, this is where it becomes very tricky. Yeah. She suffered from 100 degrees bone. That takes like about a couple minutes to get 100 degrees bone. Yeah. So when she was on fire, her husband was right in front of her doing nothing. Hmm. Huh.
She now ran back out by herself. Mm. This is how strong my sister is. And she for to any hospital. They are, they are eyewitness to this story. Then on going to the hospital, they went to like 10 hospitals, they were rejected. This guy now told them that they should drive the car back to the estate. Oh, then he, 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 what I heard from him now was the Instagram post he posted. Now, um, Olinda Bola, um, there were, there are so many, I want to ask you as many questions as possible because people are going to watch the live. There were so many um, allegations that he was into rituals and she helped him with the rituals. You, are you it's aware? Possible. Of she, would, she would help him with anything. It's possible. It's very, I agree. It's very possible. She would do anything for him. She has a tattoo of him, his name on her neck. His name, not a children's name, his name on her neck. Why she was that obsessed for, from when she was 19 years to when she, she ended up in 32 years, I do not know that phrase. I was the one that even said maybe they took a blood. I do not know. Huh. So, and people are saying, respect the dead, respect the dead. How come you guys respect the dead more than the living? A lot of you in the comment section right now running your mouth is the same people who are going to insult this woman if she has left this man you respect the dead more than the living when people die, when you want to respect them when people die that's when you want people to shut up how do you help these people now i'm going to throw a question to late bimbo's brother because i know you're on this life because you're everywhere looking for who is going to support you and who is going to validate you how come we did not know you for the 32 years that you claim that your sister has suffered domestic violence? Why did you not tag, did you not tag Insta blog? Why did you not help her? How come we did not hear your voice? Suddenly your sister have died and you are making animal noise and granting interview and saying justice. Justice for what exactly? Now my point is, can you let your sister rest in peace and stop cloud chasing with her? Because there's an advice I'm going to give to you. There's what is called memories. Everything you say on this internet is what people will remember of her. You see all these noise makers that are supporting you on the comment section. They will not contribute one naira. They don't like you. You know, M, the internet has been boring lately. Your sister's news is what has given them life. Recently, there's nothing we could read on Insta blog. You go to Linda. Everything has been dry. You see, this your sister's death has been one news that everybody will make news out of. And it's irritating me that you are so not to understand that these people are using you for content. If you feel that somebody sister or you have a good news, please go to the lawyers and stop using your sister to cloud chase. Because you've granted an interview with Daddy Freeze and you've contradicted yourself. You said your sister littered herself and they pushed your sister into fire. You are even going as far as telling 